our train for today. It's even got a little caboose. Arizona. We loaded yesterday over in Carlsbad, New Mexico. Got a crane counterweight. We spent the night over in Benson. And we're going to go deliver this this morning. Come out here and take a look at what we got. So we got a 42,000 pound, 42, 43,000 pound crane counterweight. So it sits on the back of the crane. Got six pieces of securement. Okay, one, two, three, four, and then over here on the other side, we got two more. We'll crawl up there and take a look. There, a big old tow truck. Big old tow truck. Hope I don't need one of those for a while. So, uh, so we got four, five. These pieces, these chains here go all the way across. And six. We'll crawl up there and take a look. 
metal. So you can see what it is here. So you can see how I got that on the holes. These, uh, it's just kind of, there's no, let's see, I guess a better word, there's no instruction manual <laughs> on how to secure these down. You just got to find a good spot to put some chains. Uh, usually you can see, like right here, it looks like at some point somebody had a chain that went around and down like that. My hooks fit through these holes here, so I use those holes. Same thing right here. And then this chain here goes all the way across. This thing is top heavy. Same thing here. Goes all the way across. As you can see, this is just slack right here. I just stick them up there. They're not gonna fall down. There's a big, better view of that tow truck. Mercer truck. Anyway, it's a pretty day today. It's not too windy yet. It was a little windy yesterday up in New Mexico. Give you an idea. So, so my hooks don't fit through these holes here. And I actually I don't think they want um, anything in these holes. I think a rod goes through there. I don't know. But I put the chains there, cable. It's not going anywhere riding good so, there, you go. there you go picture tow truck all right let's uh made you dizzy let's get going and uh we'll deliver this we got about an hour to go deliver this. all right we're on our way to phoenix here except we got a red light then we got an arrow. Tank. One thing you gotta remember about this thing, it's just like a coil. This joker's top heavy here. And you just gotta be careful with it. Don't swing it around too much. watching uh, trucking with Schmidt and uh, <laughs> he was talking about shifting gears and it, it made me realize I knew I need to do a better job to be a little more uh, gentle shifting gears <laughs> all these years I just changed gears and he was talking about how delicate he is sometimes I'm a little rough kind of gets their own technique shifting gears sometimes we're getting bad habits over the years uh oh got a phone call I gotta answer this talk to you guys in a bit
on it tucks on we're gonna go over here to the uh, Peterbilt dealer give him some of my money and pretty easy to get to big exit 262 from here Benson Highway for half a mile. The, uh, the wind. I know you guys hear me complain about the wind a lot, but even my wife said here lately the wind has just been crazy. A quarter mile, turn right onto East 46th Street. There's Peterbilt right there. I usually don't have very many trucks, like new trucks. As a matter of fact, they don't have none. But this is where I bought my truck at. This truck right here. Take the next right onto East 46th Street, then turn right onto East Evans Boulevard. July of 2003, I believe, is when I bought it. I remember driving it home. Thinking this is the biggest the truck. I uh, I traded in my old uh, JB Hunt cap over for this truck here. <laughs> Sometimes I miss my old cab over. I was proud of that little truck. I think it was a 90, 98. It was a, a flat floor, double bunk cab over. I had a lot of fun driving that little truck. It started nickel and diamond me to death. And uh, that's when I decided to get something else. The motor was just about ready to go out on it too. It had a little Cummins. It had an L10 in it, which is a 10 liter engine. And yet, you know, JB Hunt was still hauling freight with a little 10 liter engine. It could be done. No, I'll take that back. It had an, the very first truck I drove had a 10 liter L10 to come to. The, the JB Hunt had a L11, I think it was, an M11. I believe that's what it was. Anyway, it was a little motor. And JB Hunt, they didn't, their transmissions didn't have overdrive. So when you were in top gear, it was like nine, nine speed, I believe. When you were in top gear, you were running one to one, so there was no overdrive. The uh, axle ratios in that thing were like 289 or something like that. But that little motor, man, I get that thing screaming about 16, 1700 RPM. I'd be trucking about 72 miles an hour down the road. Oh. All right, let me go get my part. I don't know if you guys can see the palm tree blowing right there. Crazy. Let me get my part. I'll be right back. All right, it's Thursday afternoonish actually I got home yesterday I stopped at the Peterbilt I got my part I'm uh, I'm actually sitting in the truck here at the house let me turn you around if you look closely you can see Callie Chin, uh, bandit and then Bailey is just right there at the edge of the house but uh, it's just easier sometimes to uh, sit in the truck and edit the video I got all my equipment in here then drag it all into the house but so this is the power steering pump and oh, hang on and the gasket there's only two bolts that hold this thing on so surely I can figure out how to do it but I'm gonna put that on it should be easy. It's just two hoses going there. 
So today's Thursday and actually we are going to go get our second shot today. Our second COVID shot. And we'll see how it feel and then probably go back to work next week. Get back in the groove there. But that's the plan. So anyway, I didn't end yesterday's video so I had to come up with an ending. So anyway, that's what we're doing. Uh... When I start working on that, which might be tomorrow or this weekend, I'll let you know.